Yeah, the bill is wrapped up in controversy because of $400 billion, which Republicans say is not related to veterans' services. Local veterans say that political games are being played at their expense. And the only ones that are getting screwed are the veterans in the middle, and that's the shame of it. This week, the United States Senate will vote again on a bill known as the PACT Act. It would provide billions of dollars for the country's veterans. Both Oklahoma Senators Jim Inhofe and James Lankford voted no on the bill. Former 5th Congressional District Representative Steve Russell is a veteran. He served in the United States Army for more than two decades in Kosovo, Kuwait, Afghanistan, and Iraq. He supports Inhofe and Langford, saying the bill does not have quantifiable or hard evidence behind it. They even um, lay it out where if you have hypertension as a senior adult, uh, that they just assume because you're a veteran that that was created by the military and therefore uh, we're going to, you know, unload the government coffers. It's absolutely 100% not true. Dr. George Monk served in the Army National Guard in the first Gulf War. He says the funding will go towards fine-tuning the burn pit registry that helps identify cause and effects of hazardous exposures during military service. We know there's cancers associated with it, and we know there's a constellation of symptoms, you know, long-term fatigue and things like this uh, that some of the veterans are experiencing. We're still learning. Larry Van Shiver is the state commander of Oklahoma's Purple Hearts. He says veterans want clear explanations from Senators Langford and especially Inhofe, saying he has been very supportive to vets up until now. He's been a marvelous supporter of the veteran, and I've admired him several times for the action he's taken. But on something like this, it makes no sense. $400 billion in the bill has been marked as mandatory spending, and Senate Republicans argue it does not go to veterans' services. That is Senator Inhofe's reason for voting no. Senator Langford believes uh, wait times at the VA could get longer, saying, quote, the bill does not increase community care for veterans or increase beneficial information from community care. It simply expands eligibility without increasing capacity.